Hello, everybody. I am Kate Josie, and with me, as always, is Christian Scott. It has been uh, like three months since our last recording. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of shit going on, you know? What was the last one we did? Was it Furry Vengeance? It was Furry Vengeance. So, no, it was two months ago. Okay. Oh, and I, I will tell you guys, Undercover Grandpa, we're going to get to it in a bit, but Undercover Grandpa was chosen from a list of top bad movies on Netflix. So, just so you know. I don't know why it was listed on there. You know, I actually thought it was rather compelling. <laughs> the characters really, uh, really came alive, and the yes. plot was. Oh, I don't want to say it's the Dark Knight of Grandpa undercover secret agent movies, but I mean, you know, I have to call it like it is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, you remember that movie Red? God, this mo- this movie straight up just blows Red out the water. This movie makes Red look like. Undercover Grandpa. No, okay, that was... I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, God. You got another pun, right. or you want to go into the news? No, let's go to the news. I'm not... Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay, so... I have, like, some comic booky stuff, and then we'll go into some trailers that came oh, out. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I've actually I've been reading a couple comic books now that, uh, you know, I, I have a... Like I'm, I have access to a library that that straight up stocks them. Oh really? Have you read, reading anything interesting? I'm reading the new Miss Marvel stuff, which is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's in humans, but mm-hmm. I mean, you know, what what else can you expect? It, it's it's really good. It's almost like it's almost like like young Peter Parker, you know? Okay. Um, I'm reading Injustice. Which is damn good. I, I had no idea it was so good. And I think <clears throat> a Deadpool and Cable book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I got going on. Did you see Deadpool too? I did. What'd you think? It. I'm not going to say it was better than the first one, but it was funnier. Than the first I'm gonna one. Say, I'm gonna say it was better than the first one. All right. <laughs> I, um, thought like, was, I, I thought like it doesn't have much in the way of plot, and the movie knows that, so I'm really happy that they made fun of that. Um, which one? The first one? The second one. Okay. Um, but goddamn man, Brad Pitt. <laughs> 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 oh, can I can I just go? Can we just go into Deadpool two for like a few minutes? Because I don't think we've talked about Deadpool two. No, we haven't. Uh, I, I found it really funny how they showed the uh, <clears throat> showed the X Force actually like you know kicking some ass, and then in the movie they just killed them. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they, it's uh, that joke was really funny, um, although it is kind of a ripoff of MacGruber. Yeah, but it got like the biggest laugh out of me. I lo- like I I have like not many complaints with Deadpool 2. I really liked it. I like it better yeah. than the first one. I've seen it twice in theaters now. Um, and then I watched the first Deadpool again just to kind of make sure. And I, I don't know. I think the second one is... I just think it's funnier. Um, I like all the new characters a lot. I really like Domino. Um, I don't know. I just... I loved it. I genuinely thought it was pretty great. It's my second favorite movie of the year right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Next to Infinity War? No. No? no? Um... No, Infinity War is not even in my top four. No right shit. now, it's um, Death of Stalin is number one. God, <clears throat> uh, you know what's fucking terrible about that shit? No hmm. movie theater near me were screening it. It'll be on DVD next week. Good, because I want to watch that shit. Yeah, Death of Stalin is number one. Deadpool two, then I think Isle of Dogs, and then maybe Hereditary. <clears throat> I think I'm not sure. All right. I just I just saw that. So it's sort of like <laughs> fresh to me. Um, but yeah, okay, so the news is that, um, there's gonna be, okay, I think we mentioned this last time, that there's gonna be a Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. You know what's funny, like, we, we brought that shit up a few, I don't know if it was last episode, but it was definitely, like, within the past three episodes, Mm -hmm. and I haven't heard shit about it until last week, 
when well that's not <clears throat> what I'm gonna, I mean that's happening mm-hmm. but they've announced there's gonna be a Joker movie with what's who played him in the last one Jared Leto uh, yeah a Jared Leto Joker movie that will be connected to the DC universe yeah and there's also the old Joker that's not connected right what do you mean remember uh, <clears throat> there, there was a sto- there was a story of Jared Leto was going to have a, a Joker movie, but there was also going uh-huh. to be a Joker movie that was not connected to the DC universe. Yeah, that's the Walking Phoenix. Yeah, so it, that's still happening? Yeah, both of them are still happening. <laughs> See, this is what I'm fucking talking about. Like, I was, like, last week I was sitting in class with my friend, and he just pulled up the news. Like, I'm in film school, so that's literally what we do all goddamn day, guys. Just, it, it's great. But anyways, he looks to me, he looks to me and goes... Hey, did you see this shit? And I'm like, oh my god, they're still doing that? I haven't heard anything about it for like ever. And it's amazing to me that even after Infinity War, DC still has the balls to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you guys. <laughs> okay, so they're doing that, and there's also gonna be like a Birds of Prey movie, which probably will have the Joker <laughs> in it. Like, can we get yeah. a fucking Man of Steel 2 already? Can you guys just give me that instead of all these joker movies that who gives a shit like i'll i'll watch it i guess um i, I like joaquin phoenix a lot as an actor i'm curious mm-hmm. to see what that would be like a solo joker movie um the jared leto joker i think is fine i don't i mean yeah, I, don't, I don't have a problem with him he wasn't really in suicide squad enough for me to know for sure what my thoughts are about him yeah. i mean he didn't have anything uh, to do with the actual story yeah, uh, so whatever. But, like, do you care about either of these movies? Like, this no. is what they're do- This is what they're doing. Like, Marvel did Infinity War, which, you know, not perfect, but I really love that movie. Yeah. And they can do that, and then DC is like, oh, well, we got two, two Joker movies oh, and that aren't connected. Did you see the, the poster uh, for Shazam? Yeah, I did. What? I- did that not look terrible? <laughs> It looks very, um, like, Deadpool-ish to me. Yeah, it, it looks like they didn't act, like, the people making it actually didn't go read Shazam or anything with him, and it's like, oh, it's a it's a kid inside an adult body, right? All right, good. We got, we got that. We seem big. <laughs> that's, look, look, that's a neat premise. I'll, I'll, <clears throat> I'll reserve judgment until the trailer's released. Um, but again, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. I mean, we could do a whole section about the DC movies and how I don't understand their <laughs> logic. It's like a crazy person is running things over there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. two Joker movies. Yep, we're gonna do that. Two Joker. He said it. That he he's the guy. He's the the voodoo the mojo guy. Um, so yeah. So do you want to see either of these Joker movies? If you have to watch one, Walking Phoenix, which isn't connected to the DC universe. That one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That one. Like, one, it's not connected, so right. it doesn't have the burden of having to deal with all the shit around it. But two, right. I really want to see Joaquin Phoenix just unhinged as hell again. Because I don't think we've had a, a, a crazy Joaquin Phoenix movie in a while. He was in a movie that I saw um, recently, uh, You Were Never Really Here. Yeah, which is... I didn't see it, but that that uh, that title really reminded me of that of that fake documentary he made. Well, they're not. At all I know. I know they're but, not um, connected, but it just reminded me of it. Right. It's <clears throat> fine. I mean, his performance in it is good. The movie I thought was kind of yeah. lacking, but yeah. yeah. I mean, look, I love Walking Phoenix a lot. He was in The Master, which oh. is one of my favorite movies of all mm-hmm. time. <laughs> So and, I will and he's, always like you know, him. he's still the only reason why I even go back to watch Gladiator whenever I see it. <laughs> that movie. You've never seen it? <laughs> nope. Huh. Well, I mean... Should I? Um... All right, you answered enough with that little... Yeah. <laughs> ring voice that, was, that spoke volumes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like 15 years old, or excuse me, it's like 17 years old at this point. He's still, like, really fun in it, but it's not, like, great. <laughs> okay. Um, the other news we have is Matthew Vaughn, the guy who directed um, X-Men First Class, mm-hmm. he did uh, Kick-Ass and Kingsman, 
He's going full fucking blown into the Kingsman universe. Have you seen Kingsman? I have not seen the second one because everyone said it was really bad. I liked it. Really? Yeah, I did. Right. <laughs> I don't love it. It's not as good as a one, but yeah. I thought it was fun. I enjoyed it. I think it's on Amazon Prime for free. It c- I could be wrong. <clears throat> I like the first one, check it out. I right. mean... Yeah. Anyway, he's going to make uh, Kingsman sequels, uh, spin off about the American version, <clears throat> The Statesman, and a TV show all set in the Kingsman universe. Money, money, he money, also, money. Money! Yeah. But the second one didn't make that much. That's what's kind of baffling to me. Like, the second one wasn't a big hit. Like, it's weird that... I know. He's going uh, full into this, but... The, I, I mean, the f- people... Whenever you, like, mention Kingsman, all anyone ever still thinks about is the first one. Right. So And, like, I, at school, that's... Whenever, you know, good action movies come up, it's like, oh, Kingsman? There's hardly ever any talk about the sequel. It's fine. Um, it's got some fun moments in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you ever see it, we'll talk about it. Right. Uh, and he's also thinking of rebooting the Kick-Ass movies. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, those two movies are good. And he directed the first one. Is he going to improve on Well, okay, so are you following Kick-Ass in the comics right now? I thought I thought they were done with it. I didn't know they were still going on. That story is done, but they have a new female kick-ass now. It's a girl. He's an Afghani veteran. Hmm. I haven't read it. I'm really waiting. I'm going to wait for the graphic novel to come out. Yeah, um, the trade? Yeah, but um, that's an... I mean, if they do that, it might be interesting. Then they could kind of set it in the same universe. Although, I like kick-ass too fine. I don't need more of those movies. <laughs> And then he also wants to do a Hit Girl spinoff. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be, you know, entertaining. Right. Um, I mean, God, when when I read Kick Ass Two, I, I just, I, I just didn't. I fucking hated that book. That that book has a black heart. And, yeah, and like it, it's it has no sense of fun at all. Yeah. And then the movie came out. I was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that is a miserable fucking book. Like I almost don't feel comfortable recommending it to people. And like it's so I, uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I straight up don't. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it's for anyone who's never read Kick Ass Two. So, you know how the first one is sort of like a, hey, you know, this is what a teenager would actually do if they were, if they dressed as a superhero. This is, hey, what if, like, the darkest characters you've ever seen just possess a child? (laughs) Yeah, there was a rape and children getting shot. Yeah, uh, an entire, like, massacre on multiple streets. No fun whatsoever. Like... When <clears throat> then his dad gets hung. Yeah, when when Big Daddy dies in the first one, I laughed so goddamn hard. It's like I'm not a hero, I'm just an asshole, and like that was so funny to me. In the book, in the movie, in the, yeah, no, that was it, tragic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, when his dad dies in uh, the second one, that was just mean, and like. I did, yeah. li- I did like how they, they did not decapitate Colonel Stars and Stripes and his dog. <laughs> um, They decapitated him in the movie, I thought, but they didn't kill the dog. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, they make a joke about that where they're like, oh, so we kill the dog? And he's like, Jesus, no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. So you haven't read Kick-Ass 3 yet, right? Like the ending of that story? No, I haven't. The Kick-Ass 2 just turned me off so bad. Kick-Ass 3 is better from what I remember. And that's not um, the Hit Girl prequel, right? No, no, no. It's the continuing story of Dave and Red Mist and what okay. happens with them. Okay. They try to redeem Red Mist. It doesn't work after the second book. Um, anyway, so now we'll talk about some trailers. Uh, what would you think of the Dumbo trailer? It looked charming. Uh, I don't think the... <clears throat> I don't think the trailer was doing it justice with that sad ass song. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a sad movie. It's an elephant getting ripped <laughs> apart from his elephant mother. 
Yeah, I know that, but like at least at least you know, like the old cartoon had some sort of childlike joy to it. Does it? I don't remember it having that at all. No, keep in I mind, also, I yeah, I haven't seen the first movie in a long, long time. Yeah, I haven't but, seen it since I was like a a tiny child. Right, but the parts that like have stuck out in my memory <laughs> are the scenes of him getting ridiculed for his ears getting made fun of by those racist crows and then getting ripped apart from his mother and then the psychedelic elephant shit. <laughs> like, the horrifying parts of that movie are what have stuck out in my memory. If there is charm in that movie, I do not remember it. Well, I mean, like I said, I was I was also five, so... <laughs> Plus, it, I mean, I, Tim Burton's making this. Oh. So it is gonna be sad. <laughs> <laughs> he someone I will always defend. I don't care what people say. I just like his movies. Is Johnny his Depp in one, it? Because I don't remember seeing him. Which one? Is Johnny Depp in it? Because I don't remember seeing in him. In Dumbo? No. But my question is... Oh, so is, it's gonna be, it is going to be a good movie. <laughs> I don't know. He I, know you li- I know you like those two movies you know, like a lot, but... Which ones? I mean, you, you're, <clears throat> you're a big fan of uh, the vampire one. Dark Shadows? Yes, I am. <laughs> I was not interested in. You wouldn't like it. And then, yeah. yeah, you don't like Sweeney Todd? I didn't see it. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I have to judge by that? The worst fucking things. Edward Scissorhands? I did see that. I, that you know, I mean, I give that a pass because that was a really good movie and it was way back, at, way back in the day when both of them still liked their careers. Ed Wood? You know, I've never actually seen Ed Wood. I think my I think my school library has it. Oh, check it out, yeah. dude! You you would like it. Yeah, <clears throat> you're right. Johnny Depp and him. You're yeah. Well, he wasn't in his most recent movie was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Yeah, I didn't hear a single good thing about that movie. Yeah, I did not like it. <clears throat> um, so hopefully this is better. Also, he did. Uh, you didn't see Frank and Weenie, did you? No, wasn't interested. No. I'm just not interested in a lot of Tim Burton's like crazy Tim Burton movies, you know? It's people like you that make it hard for poor Tim Burton because you just <laughs> you put him in a box and you say, I've seen one movie, I've seen them all. No, you haven't, all right? No, like, I love the shit out of Big Eyes. He's got some depth to him that people... Yeah, big Eyes. <laughs> um, he didn't right, do so Big the, Eyes, yeah. right? That was him, right? Yeah, big, yeah, I love Big Eyes. Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, that's overlooked a lot, too. Um, oh, that's such a shame. Yeah, Dumbo looks neat. I think the elephant looks cool. Um, oh, yeah. One thing, okay, I could be wrong, because, again, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Mm-hmm. I distinctively remember that, like, Dumbo and his mother, for whatever reason, they don't speak, but other animals in the movie do. Yeah, I do remember that, too. Like, Dumbo <laughs> just makes these adorable faces. Why, 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 do they, why do the elephants not get to talk? Or no, other elephants do talk, because they have, like... Aren't there bitchy elephants that are mean to the mother? I don't remember that. I think I remember, like, a mean, like, butch elephant female lady. Mm. Um, that's weird. I wonder if they're going to keep that, where they'll be talking <clears throat> animals in this. <clears throat> maybe the, maybe none of the animals talk. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it's got Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito, so it's the Batman Returns <laughs> reunion that I want. So... I don't know. Um, did you see the Suspiria trailer? That looks like a good movie. <laughs> Is that all I got to say about it? Or? I, I do. That looks like a good ass movie. <laughs> Have you seen the original? No, I did not know this was a, a remake. Yeah, it's like from the seventies or something. It's. Uh, Is this a t- Italian horror movie? Mm-hmm. Um, it's not good to me okay like it's influential i guess mm-hmm. but i don't think it holds up at all okay um but yeah this remake i think looks pretty fun it looks neat tilda swins in it who i love oh, has she ever yeah. done anything bad um not to my knowledge she's just she's amazing isn't yeah, she she is and chloe grace moretz i saw her for like two seconds yeah she's all right uh yeah. but uh, yeah that tilda swinton though <laughs> Scott Dakota Johnson, who I have no opinion on because I've never yeah. seen the Fifty Shades movies. Neither have I. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? God damn it. This got brought up the other day, and, like, you know, my jerk reaction was, I've never seen that fucking movie, and I started thinking about it, and I went, holy shit, yes, I did. 
You saw Fifty Shades? I did. I saw the first one. Why? I, I don't remember. I barely remember that I even saw the fucking thing. <laughs> when was that? Uh, I think I think it was when it was uh, on HBO or something. Because I remember that I did fucking see it. I just don't remember where. How was it? Oh, Christian, you don't want no part of this. <laughs> All right. It's it's well, it is so bad. Like Fifty Shades of Grey describes a man who's very complex and has a very very checkered past. He is so one-dimensional. I'm surprised he shows up on film. <laughs> Well, I don't know how close the spirit is going to keep to the original, but basically you have this, like, dance school that's really prestigious, mm -hmm. and this American girl goes over to Europe to be a part of it, and then uh, witch shit happens. I'm down with that. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, uh, the final bit of news that I could talk 20 minutes about oh, God, is so uh, the could Halloween I. trailer. <laughs> Halloween! <laughs> It's back, baby! <laughs> <laughs> you th Aw, did you think Michael Myers is gonna die? Shame on you. <laughs> you can't kill these prophets! <laughs> we could do something else. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So, the trailer, what'd you think? It... It resembled... It resembled a good bit of uh, Rob Zombie's uh, remake, mm. but so all right. So you know how like Halloween, the first Halloween, mm -hmm. it's more than just a slasher film. Right. It, it it's goddamn. I could go on a fucking hour long dissertation on why it's so great, but it, it it's so much more than a horror film. It's so much more than a slasher. It was a game changer for the horror for the horror movie genre. Right. Now, <clears throat> when Rob Zombie made it, it was a good movie. I liked it a lot. I do not like it as much as the original. Right. But it was still really good. <clears throat> so what happens when you dilute Halloween three times? <laughs> I think you're just gonna get gritty and and and, and kind of scary. I don't think you're gonna get anything with meaning in it. So I, you're right. Um, here's the thing about Halloween. It's essentially now become um, choose your own adventure. Yeah. Like there's essentially, uh, I think this will be like its fourth continuity you could go with after the first one. Mm -hmm. So you have Halloween, the original, and then if you want. You could do Halloween 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. Uh, or, or or you could watch Halloween and go into right into H2O and Resurrection. I don't think that's or, a bad timeline either. What? It's not great. That's not a great timeline, but it's not a bad timeline. Resurrection is shit. H2O is fine. People like it for some reason. I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, or you could go into the the Halloween remakes timeline, those two movies. Or you could watch the original Halloween and then go into this new one, which is also called Halloween. You know... And this is, this is the second time they've done the whole, like, Laurie Strode's coming back and we're going to ignore all the past continuities. They did that for H2O. Yeah, about to say that. Wasn't that the whole premise for that movie? Yeah, <clears throat> except, like, in that one she was in hiding and this one mm -hmm. she's, like, a badass Sarah Connor. <laughs> Yeah, it's like there's some there there's just something about uh, action movies today and bringing in an old person to be a badass. Just okay, we're gonna get to that, all right? Oh. <laughs> I I like the trailer, but there is uh, look, Halloween is one of my favorite movies in general, the original. Yeah, I, I will say I do agree with you. That is a really good looking trailer. But it has some member berries. Oh hanging off my that god! Thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is so much shots are just stuff that's been in the other movies, and uh -huh. I know they said they were gonna like pay tribute to the, what's come before. That's fine. You can pay tribute, but, but you can't fucking just straight up rip off. 
it looks like pretty much the first one only cut Lori or cut out Dr. Loomis and put old Lori Strode and it's yeah. the same movie. Yeah, yeah, she's the uh she's the Ahab. <laughs> right. Um and that's fine, although I think I've said before on this podcast actually that Dr. Loomis is my favorite horror movie character. You have. So anything any Halloween thing and I understand you couldn't he's dead. Donald Pleasance is dead. You mm-hmm. couldn't bring him back. Yeah. But any ha- Halloween without Donald Pleasance feels or not Donald Pleasance because I like the remakes too, but without Dr. Loomis feels incomplete to me. Like him and Michael mm-hmm. belong together. Yeah. Um <clears throat> so I'm glad they paid tribute to him in the movie where they have like the sketches of like courtroom scenes with him. That's neat, but mm-hmm. it's not the same to me. Um, it looks fine. It looks like a fun trailer. I, the stuff that I liked the most was like the new stuff. So this scene, like where he sprinkles the teeth over the side of the bathroom stall. That, that looked, that looked, uh, pretty, pretty good. That was neat. Her shooting the mirror. I thought that was a really cool scene. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, it's all shit we've seen before. Like, it's all just rehash stuff. I mean, the closet scene was cool. Um, I th- they would never do this, but I thought like how interesting would it have been if Michael didn't have the costume that we recognize? Because mm-hmm. now it just it just feels so like why like why would he go for that mask like in the original movie the very first one you don't feel like that mask is special to him they just say in the first movie they say that like he broke into a convenience store and like stole a handful of knives in a halloween costume like it's not special to him Mm -hmm. so the fact that he would like wear that in the same coveralls it's like also in the trailer they say that he only killed three people that's not true in the original movie he killed the mechanic Mm -hmm. um Annie and Linda, and then Linda's boyfriend. So that's four people. So yeah, fucked up movie. Hmm. Uh, but it's fun. I, look, I'll, I'm excited, kind of, because look, I like Michael Myers. I like Halloween. I'm glad it's back. Um, but again, if it's just going to be, remember this, remember that. Why we have movies that already have that? Um, although it has Judy Greer, and I, I love her. <laughs> um, hopefully, she has like a meaty part in it, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, that that's all I got to say about it. It looks fine. Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, like, does does is is Michael, you know, evil incarnate like the original said he was, mm-hmm. or is he just like this troubled kid? Because I like, I feel like this is going for the troubled kid, or uh, you know, troubled kid, but like trying to also do the evil incarnate thing too with like the dog. I think he's evil incarnate because they, th- they said they're trying to mimic mainly the first one. They're trying to ape the first one, so it'll be evil incarnate. But and I like that they're getting rid of Lori being his sister. Mm-hmm. I like that. But then why would he come after her? Like why? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll you know we'll see. We'll see how the movie turns out. Um, I'm open to it. I like Jamie Lee Curtis. She looks cool. Mm-hmm. No Doctor Loomis. That's a con. Judy Greer. That's a plus. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I have a complaint, you know, with the mask too. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's. I mean, that's what he's like known for is that mask. So yeah. I mean, they couldn't do something completely different. I just thought it would have been interesting if they tried that, but mm-hmm. instead, no. Uh, yeah. It also kind of takes away from the first movie. I mean, the sequel did that too, but like. The first movie ends so great when Loomis shoots Michael and then he looks down and Michael's gone, right? Mm-hmm. And then you just see, see shots of where he's been and you hear him breathing and it just ends. And then this one you find out that apparently he was immediately arrested. So it's like... Boom, 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 boom. If the movie had just gone on for five more minutes, you could have seen Michael in <laughs> handcuffs and Loomis like, oh, well, I guess I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> and finally got him. Oh, <laughs> now I can go home and take a nap. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. That's all I got to say about this. Well, let's get into the movie now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to approach this thing with about as much enthusiasm as James Conn did. <laughs> uh, all right. The movie sucks. <laughs> oh, called Undercover Grandpa. Undercover Grandpa. Explain the plot. Um, have you ever seen Red or Taken 
or uh, Death Wish 4, I think? I've only seen the first one. Um, have you ever seen... Oh, God damn it. There's another... There's like an old person movie where they're like all ex-mob members. The Color Purple? <laughs> yes, The Color Purple. Yeah, they're like all ex, ex-mafiosos. I think it was made in like 2002 or something like that. It's pretty funny, and so this kid with Justin Bieber's haircut from like ten years ago, <clears throat> uh, is being very creepy about this girl. He draws a picture of her creepily. Um, his grandpa comes to eat dinner with them, sponsored by KFC, and <laughs> and. Uh, you know, the kid's distraught because I have a date tonight. <clears throat> no, your grandpa's coming. So they eat dinner, and then the kid's got to go take grandpa back to the nursing home. And grandpa's acting crazy. And then the girl gets kidnapped. And then we go into uh, 40 minutes of the dullest bit of action drama. And, uh, yeah. Did, did, did I get it? Well, okay. The grandpa has these fantastical <laughs> stories about like being in the military or something, and like also Colonel reminded Sanders. me of secondhand lines. Um, I forgot to say that. And it turns out that they're all true. He's actually a secret spy guy, and uh, his cover is that he's a senile old man. Although it's not really a cover because he's like mm-hmm. living with his family, mm-hmm. so, or like around them, so it's not really a cover. Um, and then he gets his old gang back together. It's like The Expendables, only people you've never seen before. That was another movie uh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this movie's a big pile of shit. Uh, it's, oh, did you it notice that out, no one dies in this movie? <clears throat> a lot of people die in this movie. What are you talking about? Not a single fucking person. Or excuse me. One person dies in this movie. All, uh, all of his henchmen. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. But there's the thing, okay. though. We keep hearing them breathe and act in pain, though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Even Which though it looks script. like they're not breathing, we still hear them breathe and be in pain. You're talking about the people who like the henchmen and stuff. Yeah, who got electrocuted. I guess I assume they died. Yeah, but like, like I did too. But then I kept hearing, uh, uh, and like, are you serious? No, that was the actors. That was the old men actors. <laughs> so you, you can fair, understand movie, why I made that mistake. <laughs> so this movie lets you know right off the bat what it's gonna be because it starts with a joke where a bad yeah. guy's covered in pig shit. Oh my god! And like it, it starts off with this weird rap song, and then it, it starts out like yeah, Suicide does. Squad. Where there's like a song constantly playing in the background for the first like <clears throat> third of the movie. Mm-hmm. It's just annoying, random, generic pop rap music, and then it just stops. So a lot like Suicide Squad. So yeah. Uh, oh, also, uh, the first you know when we first meet the kid, uh, it reminded me a lot of uh, <clears throat> how of of Back to the Future. You know, he's like, you know, I'm gonna get to school, and then he rides his skateboard, and then the car waves at him. I really feel like. That was, you know, this movie's way of saying, hey, people like him, instead of him, you know, more realistically, like, he just said hello. Is that how it started? Yeah, like, it, it, I mean, that was the second scene, like, you know, because we, we get introduced to the bad guy, and then we get introduced to the kid. Yeah, he drives his skateboard in front of a car, waves at him, and, like, that, I, this, that, this is, or that is the, uh, this movie's lazy way of saying he's a nice kid. I remember it starting off with him being in a class being taught by the father of Christoph Waltz. So I didn't nope, that remember the, that. That's the scene after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, he's like a loser, although not really, because this girl who's mm-hmm. easily the most likable character in the oh, movie yeah. is the girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, she's, she's incredibly the, charming. And um, she's and like she proactive in trying to escape the henchman. Yeah, she's proactive. Um, and she's, like, totally into him and giving him, like, some great big signals that she's into him. He's like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. And he, like, straightens his goofy hair. He's like, I don't know how to be around a girl. Like, 
I, is he a loser? I don't know, because he has, like, his friend who's the worst character in the movie. Oh, good God. Um, <laughs> so she gets kidnapped, and then he finds out his grandpa knows what he's talking about, and then a less fun Mallory Archer is in the movie. Oh, <laughs> my God. I That was so, like, when she first started, I'm like, is that Jessica Walters? <laughs> it's just Walter. Oh, it's Walter? I thought it was Walter. I also thought it was Walters. It's not. It's Walter. Huh. Weird. Anyway, yeah. um, I'm glad she got a paycheck. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it's always nice to see her. That's basically how I felt about everything in this movie. Because none of the acting is, like, awful per se, except for James Caan, who doesn't... He's not it's bad, not he's just he's just old. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I texted you, and, like, as soon as he showed up, I'm like, oh, God, he looks like the, like, fucking, uh... Oh, it was an Emutep before he got before he regenerated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he looked terrible. But then I remember, like, oh, he's like fucking a hundred. <laughs> yeah, I wrote down some of the ages for the actors, and then it made me sad that like this is the work they can get. Yeah, because they're like, but he is um, he's seventy eight. He's only god damn. He looks fucking ninety something. Jessica Walter is seventy seven. Wow, um, she looks better than and him. Then, hmm? She looks better than him. She looks fine. Although, have you seen the new Arrested Development yet? I tried go going back and you know I tried to go back and watch the uh, season four remix. Uh huh. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I, I'm done. I don't. Okay. For starters, the original season four is great. The remix, I don't care for. You don't need to watch it. You could just start season five. They do enough recapping to pick okay. up. Okay. Um, but if you do watch season five, just so you know, the first two episodes are a lot of recapping. Once a third episode hits, they pick up with the plot. Mm. It, I look, I like those characters. I like that show. Season five is fine. The reason why I brought it up, Jessica Walter, I think had like work done. So she looks a little bit different there than she did in this movie oh, okay. where you're right. She looks decent. Okay. Uh, Paul Servino's in this movie. He's 79. Yeah, there's a whole lot of a whole lot of people in in this movie. I just go, oh, I know that guy. Oh, that guy was in that one movie I really like. Oh, hey, there's a guy I think I know. <laughs> Paul Servino actually, I thought looked the best for how old he is. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just because he's fat. Maybe that fills yeah. out wrinkles. I don't know. Yeah. Um, the scientist <laughs> guy, uh, he's from Twin Peaks, the original Twin Peaks. Yep. So again, I'm glad that he's getting a paycheck he's 76 mm-hmm. um the guy okay so the character called the wolf right the wolf character the black guy no the white priest guy oh, the priest he was in bright chucky um i couldn't tell was he an actual priest at first i wasn't sure because he had like a wife and i thought it was some weird sex thing because they walk in where they're like in the middle of doing it so i was like is he dressed like a priest for some sexual thing yeah but then he makes know. a reference that he's yeah. got a church mm-hmm. can priests have girlfriends nope I didn't. I was very confused on his character, and then I was like mad at myself for putting that much thought into his character. You know, I did the <laughs> same thing. I'm like, you know, come on, this movie hasn't given you shit. Shut up. <laughs> um, it's full of unlikable characters. I think the old people are fine, but yeah. like, the main character sucks. His best friend is the worst. Both of his parents are assholes for some reason. Yeah, I mean, they're only in it for like what, two scenes? And like one scene, they're making fun of their child. Yeah. Like, oh, you got a date with a girl? Oh, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, does she parents. think he's gay or something? Is that a joke? Yeah, I'm like, I, there's a lot in of this movie where I'm just going, was that supposed to be a joke? Right. Uh, although, okay, there was one line that got a genuine hard laugh out of me, but I think it's because I was like brain dead by that point. Because <laughs> about 19 minutes in, I was done. Like, I was so <laughs> yeah. bored. At minute 19 is when I legitimately checked out of the movie like i kept watching it mm-hmm. but i was like a hundred miles away like i was not invested in any not that i was invested to begin with but i just right. didn't care you know what i mean mm-hmm. like you were you were willing to give it a chance but by 19 <laughs> i was like i do not care i'm so bored but there's one joke where paul servino says that like i pee i pee eight times a night six of those times were in a toilet that got a good laugh out of me yeah that, that was pretty fun like uh a uh... I'd say Tom Servino has the most, like... Paul Servino. Or Paul Servino, excuse me. He has 
he has some of like the most you know kind hearted fucking you know like pieces of emotion just coming through like he's like one of the only like parts in this movie I would go you know what it wasn't a hundred percent loss <laughs> it was a ninety eight percent loss <laughs> um for some reason I don't know why I did not expect the walker to have electricity come out of it yeah I mean, I that was that I didn't predict that <laughs> I, I, I when it when it did happen though I just like all right whatever <laughs> I felt stupid. I was like mad at myself. I was like, clearly that's what they were doing. He had it in plastic wrap while it was underwater. Come mm-hmm. on, Christian. Yeah. Um, I th- okay, so and Jessica Walter is not terrible in it, but she's not good either. It's clearly yeah. a paycheck for her. Mm-hmm. Again, fine. I don't care. I'm glad these people got paid. Um, but yeah, it's just unlikable characters. The main character is a coward. Um, I thought it would be funny if like, okay, so you know the scene where the kid realizes his grandpa's a badass when they're in that auto mechanic shop? Mm-hmm. I thought it'd be funny if like, right when the, when he's like, you know, when the James Conn's character is like tough talking these guys in a room where he's like, oh, I know what you're thinking. Does this old guy really knows what he thinks he knows? And then he beats the hell out of him. Mm-hmm. I thought it'd be funny if it turns out that he actually was senile. Like, I did too. <laughs> It revealed itself that he actually did not know what he was talking about. Where he gets up, he's like, "Oh well, this is what guy knows what he thinks he knows." And then like he tries to fight, but is immediately like taken down. And then mm-hmm. the rest of the movie is like this sad drama about <laughs> dealing with your elderly Dude, family. If if that if if that, if this movie did that, best movie of the year. <laughs> yeah, would have been good. Oh my god! Um, if you think it's gonna be some stupid comedy, but it, then it turns into this like heart moving story about geriatric problems and dealing with your dementia ridden parents mm-hmm. <laughs> but it, it didn't it, did it was the movie i thought it would be hey did you did you catch glimpses of what could be james Conn's cataracts because <laughs> like every now and then the light would catch his eye in a really weird way then like are those cataracts <laughs> I just figured he was dead inside, but it might be. Like, um, I just felt bad for him watching yeah. this. Like, you, I mean, we always make that joke of, you know, Tommy Lee Jones looks like he's like a melted candle, but I think James <laughs> Caan is the more melted candle. Just He just seems like a hollowed out shell of a person. I don't mm. know. Like, it made me sad that, like, Elf, I guess, is his last good performance, because I don't care yeah. for that movie. Yeah. I mean, he, but, I mean, he's, but he, he's, he's good in it. Right, but apparently that will be what his last good one. Yeah. Who is this movie for? I don't know. What's I the audience? Because it's not funny enough for adults, but it's not a kid's movie. Cause yeah. like, Why would, would James Caan be in it? They make jokes about circumcisions and condoms, so it's not like for kids, but it's not an adult movie either. Like, I don't get... Does someone hate James Caan? Is this the... The theory we had about Brendan Fraser and Furry Vengeance that people just hate James Caan and they put him in this movie. <laughs> Did he screw over Jessica Walter and Paul Servino at one point? <laughs> oh my god. And they're like, oh wait, we can fuck over James Caan, we're in. Like <laughs> That guy's Well, who's the audience? Yeah, I don't know. Like uh part of film school is you know, it's not just talking about movies, but it's just sitting there like going over the boring shit of Okay, you have an idea. What's your idea? Oh, no one's ever going to watch that. Like, who the fuck is your movie for? I don't know. Like, that's a thing that goes through my mind now whenever I watch a movie. Right. I just, I don't get... It's not, because it's not funny. Um, Mm -mm. It's not smart. Nope. It's Canadian, I think. It's a Canadian movie, because the guy who directed it... And a lot of the actors are Canadian-based. Um, the guy who directed it did a bunch of um, episodes of Big Wolf on Campus. I've never seen that. You don't need to, but it was I watched it when I was a kid. It's basically Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but a werewolf main character. Hmm. Yeah. It was, it was fine. It was on ABC Family in the afternoons. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of a villain of the week where there was like a, a supernatural character and he had to take him down. He's like a high school werewolf. Mm-hmm. Um, his best friend is like obsessed with horror movies so every character who's like kind of a parody of a real horror movie character he'll like go into how to defeat them that's a neat premise it's more fun than this movie was but um 
Yeah, that's what he directed. That's what I know him from, I guess, is he directed <laughs> episodes of Big Wolf on Campus um, and Undercover Grandpa. <laughs> um, yeah, and, like, there's rap music, but not good rap music. Um, it's just slow. And then the end, he, like, Dark Knight Rises, his family, which felt really twisted and fucked up to me. It did. It did. Like, it was... The movie played it as this the happy moment, but I'm like, I don't... Wait, so he's not going to tell his own son that he's still alive? I think it was his daughter. I think his daughter is who is the mother for the kid. Oh, so he's not going to tell his daughter that right, he's still like alive? Right, she, she's, like, she's mourning her father right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, he's out there banging Jessica Walter on a beach. <laughs> like, and then in the end, like... The kid's wearing these weird Matt Murdock glasses at his yeah, grandpa's like, funeral. And, and, you know, when the, the grandpa comes back, he's got his hair slipped back like he's Patrick Bateman. Why was that? I don't know. Like, he's matured in the one month that has that has gone by. No, he's actually, bec- you're right, he's become a serial killer. That's why he slicks his hair back. <laughs> Losing his grandpa pushed him to the brink of serial killing. Like, I, I started and- making Patrick Bateman quotes when <laughs> I started seeing the hair. <laughs> his grandpa, out of his own selfish want, has bred a serial killer <laughs> out of the circumstance. <laughs> um, but yeah, it pops up at the end. He's like, oh, I'm actually with a sexy lady, like in Dark Knight Rises. Sorry I made you guys <laughs> mourn for me. Like, yeah, it was just a weird mix feeling. And then it mm-hmm. kind of sets itself up for a sequel where he's like, oh, hey, I might be back for more adventures. Yeah. But would, that, would, would this sequel be even more depressing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, James Caan got pushed into one, or not one, but two of these movies. I would want to see a second one just to see how awful and weird it would be. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so earlier this, or last week, I, I think I told you, I saw the movie Hereditary. Yep. Have you heard of that? Yes, I have. Okay. It's not scary, but it's a miserable movie. Hmm. Like, you don't feel good after watching it, you just feel depressed. Mm-hmm. This was worse. This made me feel more depressed than Hereditary, which is about a family getting, like, butchered and falling apart. Mm-hmm. Um... And then I somehow felt more icky after watching Undercover Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, sad stuff watching actors that were good. Although, was, is James Conn a good actor? I mean, he's... <laughs> I mean, he certainly used to be. He's in... Okay, so he did Godfather, Misery, and I think a football movie called Brian's Song. Mm-hmm. Are those his big... What else has he done besides those three? Wasn't he... Oh, no, that was Robert De Niro. Um, Elf. <laughs> so maybe, um, maybe he, he's not a great actor. I don't know. Because if he did, wouldn't he be getting more work? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's like, there's a lot of, you know, like, you know the, the bigger, you know, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, uh, James Caan. And Robert Duvall, they've all been sucked into some awful fucking garbage. That's true. So, the God, <clears throat> the Godfather is great for people's early careers, not so much their later ones. You know, okay, I love the Godfather a lot. Obviously, I'm mm-hmm. a man, so I guess I have to. It's in my DNA. And, and I breathe. Uh, I so, <laughs> so of course I like it. Um. Doesn't James Caan always stick out to you in that movie as not looking like he belongs in that family? Yeah. Like, it's not, not his acting or anything. He's very he's very good. He doesn't look he's, Italian. He's one of the best parts of the movie. But yeah, yeah like Fredo and he Michael, and they all clearly look related. And then you have this one weird white guy with an afro. Mm-hmm. Standing yeah, next he, to them. he fucking looks Irish. He might be Italian in real life. I don't know, but he yeah. doesn't look it at all, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That always stood out to me. I'm like, it's he's great in the movie. I don't I wouldn't want anybody else playing that part, but he does not look like he belongs in that family. He does not look like the son of you know, Corleone. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um with his weird shoulder afros. <laughs> yeah, he's got like some like abnormally like wide shoulders. And pointy shoulders for that fucking movie. Right. But, 
Oh, now did you have a grandpa? Did you also you... think that it was really fucking weird how at no other point in the movie did it even show this or feel like this? But the old guy said that he, instead of going to the Bahamas, played a fucking senile old man forever just to be close to his grandson who before anything ever happened showed absolutely no <laughs> giving a shit toward his grandson yeah were they close were we supposed to get that yeah I don't know he, he didn't seem close to anybody in his family they just kind of put up with him like every old person in real life <laughs> yeah like, it was like, oh, yeah, we'll eat dinner with him because we have to, and then we'll send him back to the home and forget about him immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That would have – you know what? <laughs> I, okay, in a more interesting movie, wouldn't it have been really interesting if he chose that as his cover, but the family returned none of the love and admiration that he had for them, and it made, like, a darker movie? That would have been – that, that, that would have been neat. If, like, he had given up this sweet-ass retirement to be close to the family – but because of his cover, he had to pretend to be senile, so it grew into resentment on their part. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't tell them that it was an act, but he had to put up with it. Wouldn't that be a heartbreaking story? Oh my god. That would be. But, but that's not what we got. We no. got, um, like, old people jokes and, Oh, I got a walker that shoots electricity, and I'm smelling happy gas. So hoo -hoo -hoo. And, yeah, and Paul Servino, like, gets stuck in a position because he's old. Mm-hmm. Was that black guy from anything? I don't know. I, I want to say I know, yes. I, I know that he is not Scatman Carruthers from The Shining, because he's, he's been dead, dead since the 80s, but he <laughs> yeah. looks like Scatman Carruthers from The Shining. Yeah. I, I want to say he's from something, but fuck, I don't know. Uh, That's all I got to say about it. Yeah. Me too. Another one by Sedesta. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, remember, wasn't the opening song you put for these originally uh, My Best Friend by Queen? It was. It should now be another one by Sedesta. Although I know that's a lot of effort for you to put songs into it. So don't worry about it, but yeah. that would be funny. Yeah, uh, maybe, you know, is a, I, this is actually going to be the first one that I'm going to publish onto iTunes. Um, Interesting. Yeah, because it turns out it's really easy. Okay. <laughs> um, or maybe, I mean, because I, I, I did that shit with uh, some school projects I had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it totally shows up on my, like, iTunes feed or whatever, but I don't know if, like, it's, you know, like, actually something you could do or, like, you know, look up. But I'm going to look into it. And Are you going to put it on YouTube still? Yeah, I'm still going to do that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see about doing this on iTunes. So, the next movie is... You said you have Amazon Prime, right? I do. Okay, the next movie... I, okay, if you've seen this, I have a backup. Um, but it's another not good movie. Uh, John Carpenter's The Fog... I like that movie. You like that movie? I do. When's the last time you saw it? Uh, three years ago. All right, fuck it. Well, okay, but you're wrong. That movie sucks. <laughs> I, 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 you know right. what? You know what? I know that I'm alone in believing that The Fog is a good movie. I know I'm alone. I think other people like it. I thought I was the outlier because I hate it. Oh, no, no. You're not the only one. <laughs> All right. Well... I got another backup, and if you've seen this one, I got another one. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the Cloverfield Particle? Oh, I did. I have not seen it, but you I, seen it? I have heard that. Uh, I, I know about it, you know. Um, We're watching it. Okay, because yeah, I, I immediately everything I've heard is. If you go into it not expecting it to be a Cloverfield thing, it's going to be pretty, you know, okay. Oh, no, it's all bad. All right. <laughs> That'll be it. Okay. So, Cloverfield Particle. Yep. All right. Um, you got anything else? 
No. No? This movie depressed me. This movie took a lot out of me. A lot out of my soul. Yeah. Why isn't there better parts for old people in Hollywood? Um. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there, you know, there's roles for forty and fifty somethings because they can. That's still not what move, I mean. They can still move around somewhat. No, I want seven year olds. We need, a, we need a remake of Cocoon. Like. Oh my god! Give I actors. Will, I will fucking adore more Cocoon movies. Give better parts to these older actors who still have life in them, you know? For real. Like Jess- Jessica Walter and Paul Servino, they they got some they still got some time in them. Mhm. And and clearly, James Caan, yeah, whatever. Put him out to Paul pasture. Paul Servino but... is just like still happy to be involved. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll uh I'm going to go have sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> are you really? No, uh, that, that's a clue joke. Yeah, I know. Okay. Are you? Or? I might. I don't know. <laughs> Not, I've seen Clue. It, it's fine. Yeah. All right. All right. That's like the best part. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is one of the best parts. You know, you know, Megan. Like the whole movie. Megan has not seen Clue. But I don't know if I would show that to her. I, you know, I, I battle on that because uh, it's. I, I know not everyone is interested in the Who Done It, mm-hmm. but it it's so much fun for me to watch. I just don't think the movie's that funny. Like I feel like it's all one big joke. Like the whole setup is like the main movie, and then the last ten minutes is like the punchline. And that's fine, I guess, but I don't... It's... I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think it's I, overly I think it's kind of funny. Fun. I just think it's fun. It's all right. All right. I guess we'll end on that. Yeah, <laughs> Clue <we'll>... references. <laughs> Clue references and Cloverfield Paradox. Yep. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I don't know. Most of my weekends I... are, pr- are open. I have a lot of free time right now. Yeah, maybe this next one will come out sooner than the other ones have. Maybe it'll be our first, uh, you know, weekly podcast. I don't know. (laughs) Well, we'll we'll see. But maybe certainly sooner than a month. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, we'll uh, end it right there. Goodbye, everybody who watches this show. Which we know is not Mr. Josie. It's not my dad. (laughs) <laughs> calling you out yeah um yeah I think only one person still watches it I, I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure <laughs> you know which one we've got like a lot of views on what Christian Mingle are you serious that has a lot of views I think like a, like 1200 or something no fucking way yeah it, it has like a weirdly amount of views that's weird. It is, right? I don't I don't know. Maybe Christians who like that movie are looking for a review of it and they found that one. That is so Cause... weird. Like like honestly to me that was one of my favorites to, you know, put on this show cuz I was not expecting that movie to be as awful as it was. But that's a weird one. Yeah, I think that has, like, the most views of any of our videos. And I think Human Centipede Final Sequence is, like, the second one. Ugh. But, yeah, Christian Mingle. Huh. So there you go. Sorry, Christians. We didn't <laughs> like that movie. It sucked. Yeah. I hope you didn't either because hopefully you saw that it was pandering to you. Yeah, make better cinema. <laughs> <laughs> go do some more Jesus tortured on a cross shit. Okay. That was dark. On. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I took it too far. I took it too far. <laughs> who was that joke even for? I don't uh, know. People who still like Passion of the Christ, I guess. I don't okay. know. Okay. Uh, just Christian Mingle, our review, has 2,915 views. Holy shit. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Human Centipede has 947. Wow. What are the other ones? They're all like six to ten. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, we got something. 
Yeah, we, there's a median in there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Pirates 5 has four reviews. I like how you called it Pirates 5. You didn't even put Dead Men Tell No Tales. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> called it Pirates 5. The fifth one. <laughs> well, I mean, shit. <laughs> I mean, hell, I could have put Pirates 4 on there and the movie wouldn't have cared. No. Nah. Um, <laughs> that's funny to me, though. Okay, yeah. Oh, man. Maybe I will not be so lazy with fifth installments of a series next time. <laughs> I don't care. I just thought it was funny to just put Pirates 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, All right. Well, we are still recording, so I am going to say goodbye, everybody. Yeah, I really got to pee. So. All right. Bye. Bye.